Hello and welcome Sagittarius. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Sagittarius, uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. Alright, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on for you. Um, we have the Page of Athames here, or the Page of Swords. Let's see what else is coming through for Sagittarius. Four of Chalices, Six of Chalices, and the Page of Wands. Um, I don't know if any of you are dealing with an Aries, but there's a couple similar cards here that's coming out that Aries had, um, as well as almost like a similar type of uh, feeling. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Chalices, and then the Nine of Pentacles. I had to take a sneak peek here. Um, <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I don't know if this is, some of you have walked away since this is, is a general reading. For some of you, this is kind of showing that you've walked away from a situation. Um, or maybe someone has walked away from you. But I do feel like they're still kind of watching and monitoring social media. Um, I feel like there's a wanting. Uh, somebody wants to reach out, wants to talk. But for some reason, they're holding back. And I kind of feel like you're waiting for them to reach out. Because it still feels like there's a strong connection between you and this person. It's like, I know we can just work through this. I know we can start over. But no action is being taken just yet. Hmm. For some of you, I do feel like, you know, yes, this is someone who wants to reach out. Um, but for others of you, it doesn't feel like this is someone from your past. This actually feels like a secret admirer. So definitely take it how it's resonating. Um, but those two seem to be coming through the strongest. Um, the one from the past, that's coming through pretty strong, though. Um, because I keep getting like, you know, I've changed. I keep getting I had to change or something had to change in the situation. And I feel like it was this person. I feel like this person had to kind of walk away to figure some things out. Had to walk away to kind of see what they really wanted. Um, to I keep getting defined, like get a sense of independence or to um, kind of better themselves. Something like that. Because it feels like this person really had some goals or something that they were focused on. On, that, like I said, they had to kind of walk away from this connection in order to, um, like I said, I keep feeling like they had to refocus and that's why they had to walk away from the connection. But I feel like you've waited for them to contact you because it's like, you don't feel like it's quite over. There's, there's a reason you're having a hard time letting go of this person. And like I said, I feel like it's because you know that there's still a strong connection here and this person does want to reach out. I feel like you've even contemplated reaching out, or if you have reached out, you know, you haven't gotten a response yet. I also, again, I keep getting like the social media thing. Um, for some of you, there could be an age difference between you and this person, um, but I'm getting more like this person is watching your social media. Or maybe I keep getting like it's both of you kind of keeping tabs on each other. Right, clarifying the Page of Athames or Page of Swords, we have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, so you're wanting to reignite the connection, wanting to communicate, but not taking action, still kind of hiding their feelings. Um, like I said, for some of you, though, this person is coming across as like a secret admirer, someone new. So you're definitely going to have to kind of take this how it resonates. Um, but I do feel, you know, again, strongly that this, this person from your past wants to reach out, wants to um, reignite, like I said, this connection, reignite the fire between the two of you. Um, I keep getting like you're getting signs. You're getting signs or they're getting signs. Maybe both of you are getting signs. This could be in the form of, I keep getting like that little dragonflies. Um, I keep getting 
something about some kind of flower. I don't know if this is your person's favorite flower or your favorite flower, or maybe you're not like a gardening person, but for some reason flowers started to kind of sprout up somewhere. Um, but I keep getting told something about a, a flower and it seems really important here to somebody because it's going to click for somebody and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this message is for me. Um, so that's, like I said, very important. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but it's important here for somebody to hear. Um, but like I said, I do feel like Again, somebody wants to take action, wants to communicate, but they're not quite taking action yet. They're still kind of hiding their feelings. Um, I, and I feel like it's partly because they're still trying to figure out what to do um, or what to say. All right, so clarifying that Four of Chalices, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Hanged Man, and we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, again, I keep getting like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to say. Um, and that's why there's the Hanged Man. It's like, you know, it took me a minute to kind of refocus, to kind of figure some things out, to, um, I keep getting make some kind of change in my life. I needed to change something in my life. But I do want a new beginning here, that Ace of Wands. I want to reignite the passion between you and I. I've never forgotten about this connection. And that's what I want to do. I want to reach out. But Five of Cups, what if you've moved on? What if, you know, you, you have someone else? What if you don't even think about me anymore? What if you're doing better without me? Is what I keep getting. This person almost kind of feels like all hope is lost. It's almost kind of like they're self-sabotaging in a way. Um, <clears throat> like, I don't think, you know, Sagittarius would wait for me. <clears throat> because I get sadness, and that's why there's no movement. Because it's almost like they're kind of talking themselves out of it. Like, you know, Sagittarius isn't going to wait for you. <clears throat> you know, they probably, you know, moved on already. You know, they, they don't care about me or, you know, they don't want to listen to what I have to say. Um, so, again, and it kind of feels like they're doing that just out of fear and out of their own insecurity. Gosh, I'm Phil. That felt right. So I'm going to take it. And it's the Eight of Wands. <laughs> um, six of Chalices. So we have the Eight of Wands clarifying that so far. Let's get a couple more cards, please. Okay, we also have the devil, and then let's get one more, please. See, I keep getting trapped by own fear and, and insecurities, and that's why they haven't reached out. They want to, but they haven't, because what if it's already over? What if the cord's been cut? What if this is, you know, no going back? What if we can't fix this? What if you, you know, won't hear me out? What if you just keep me blocked? Hmm. So again, definitely kind of some fear and insecurities here, um, but wanting to reach out. Okay. Clarifying the page of wands, we have the five of swords. So again, there's that self-sabotaging energy. We also have justice and we have the queen of pentacles. Hmm. Um, wanting to fix things, wanting to make things right. There's still that fear, that insecurity. Um, I keep getting possibly some kind of gossip. There could possibly be an outside interference that is um, possibly spreading rumors or kind of twisting the truth um, between the two of you. Hmm. Because I almost get like a false friend being in this. It doesn't feel like a third party relationship or like this person cheated with, with this friend or anything. But I do kind of pick up a little bit of like a false friend, someone who's kind of pretending that they have your best interest at heart. But there's just like more to the story. It's like they don't want to see the two of you get back together. It could be because this person has feelings for you too. Or it could just be because, you know, this person, you know, just doesn't want to see you happy. Um... <laughs> You know, you got to take it how it resonates for sure. Um, for those of you who, I like I said, that were really resonating with um, this person being your secret admirer, I keep getting this person is going to come through, but it kind of feels like they're still kind of healing from a past situation themselves because I still get the fear and insecurity from them as well. Um, but I feel like they're trying to kind of put the past in the past. Um, either they're waiting for you to move on from a relationship because, you know, either it feels like somebody's just recently gotten out of a relationship. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. 
but it feels like somebody has ended something. So it's kind of like they're waiting to see like if you're healed yet, you know, kind of like, you know, are you ready to date yet? Or, you know, just kind of, like I said, there's that curiosity of I'm going to give you some time, but like, I want to make sure I don't give you too much time because I don't want anybody else shooting their shot. <laughs> um, so, you know, again, there's that, but I do feel like this person is going to approach you. Um, I keep getting air sign. I keep getting fire and I keep getting, um, earth sign coming through. It doesn't happen. Well, I mean, we've got some water here too, but I feel like that's just because of all the feelings and the emotions that's involved in this. Okay. Um, so let's take a look into this person's emotions. Then I want to get some other cards. Yeah. See, have you moved on? You're right but I had to see things myself. I self-sabotage because I feel like I don't deserve you. I'm trying to open up, but I need time. And then I feel safe with you. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. Yeah. So like I said, I do feel like you are on this person's mind, um, especially if you know, you're know you resonating with the connection from the past. Um, I do feel like you know either way, whether this is a secret admirer or someone from your past, um, both scenarios, you know, both people are trying to open up to you, but they just need some time. Um, you know, again, the person from your past, a little bit of stubbornness, but, you know, and they realize you are right about something, but they just had to do it themselves. They had to see things for themselves and they do self-sabotage. Like I said, I kept getting that um, throughout the reading, but they do feel safe with you. There's just, you know, it's an insecurity and it's a fear on their part. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and let's get some other Oracle cards here. Okay, Sagittarius please, Sagittarius. Okay, we have flying. Ooh, and we have, if I can get it here, Spirit of Place. All right, bottom of the deck, I got to show you that because it is commitment. Um, it does feel pretty important here because like I said, either way, whether this is someone new who's a secret admirer who just needs some time to open up and express their feelings for you, or this is someone from the past who, again, still needs time to open up and express their feelings and, you know, to say, can we fix this? Either way, it does feel like there's going to be a commitment involved. They are, you know, wanting to give you some kind of commitment, whether or not you take it, of course, that's entirely up to you. Um, we all have free will. So like I said, that part is all on you. <laughs> all right. So with um, flying here, card number 20. Um, I keep getting movement. I keep getting something coming in pretty quick. Um, I keep getting like, almost like percep um, yeah, perception, um, maybe possibly changing your perception. Because I, I keep getting like movement and I keep getting like, again, like some kind of change, um, something that's really important here. Um, maybe changes coming your way. And that's what I think it is. It, it kind of feels like you're getting past something or you're getting over like what was once like stopping you. What was once um, kind of like a wall put in your way. It's like you're flying past it. You're getting over it. You're looking at something different. And that's how you're able to just kind of get over that hurdle, if that makes sense. Um, with the spirit of place, this is really kind of telling me that, you know, you just being yourself, being authentic, being who you are, you know, that's, that's what makes this person love you for one. But that's also the fact, that's why they feel so safe with you is because there is that sense of loyalty. There is a strong foundation with this, uh, with this person and with you. They just see you as someone they can really count on, someone that they can build with. And so again, I feel like that's why, you know, this person does want to come back in. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get some charms. Okay. And then let's get some letter tiles. All right. So we have A, U, Z. We have Y, we have N. Uh, we have another N. I keep getting something about Australia. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have some viewers here 
that are maybe cross-watching or that are Sagittarius, but I do feel like somebody here is from, or there are people from Australia. Maybe this is a long distance relationship, um, but I do get something very strongly about Australia. Um, I also keep getting Zen. So like a need to just kind of calm down, to kind of zone out, to kind of get in that Zen place. Um, I keep getting meditation um, being very helpful. I, again, I keep getting like changing perception, seeing something differently. Um, it seems very important, like you, you've changed something or, you know, again, um, you're just seeing something differently um, or maybe even like opening your eyes to a situation. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all I'm getting. I'm going to leave those there, see what you guys get out of that. Um, first thing that I'm really being drawn to, if I can, let's see, we have the little hook. So again, I do feel like, you know, somebody felt kind of tied down, kind of anchored down. Um, I keep getting like kind of stuck. Then we have a little bottle opener. And I keep getting, again, hiding feelings. And that's what's kind of keeping the situation stuck. Um, and that's maybe why this person can't move on because they know they're keeping, you know, feelings hidden from you. They're, they know that there's something that they want to fix, that they want to repair between the two of you. But it's going to take opening up and, you know, again, expressing that communication. So, again, whether it's a secret admirer or someone from your past, either way, it's going to take some communication and some opening up in order to... Let the connection soar, you know, let it fly, let it be free, let it transform, let it change um, is what I keep getting very strongly. And here you are showing up, Sagittarius. There's your charm. So showing up kind of in your power. Um, we also have, again, there's that little compass, north, east, southwest. And I kept getting Australia. And so, again, I, I keep getting Australia and I keep getting New Zealand. I don't know why it's what's coming through. Um, and I even keep getting possibly New York. So again, something about traveling, something about distance. Um, somebody could be traveling or again, this could be like a long distance relationship. Definitely take it how it's resonating. Um, but that seems very important to kind of come out and say to somebody. All right. We also have the little tennis racket. So again, I keep almost getting like kind of going back and forth, back and forth. Um, but I feel like, you know, it, we're not really saying what's important. And I feel like that's why there's a need, a need in conversation, but like a need of change to see things differently, to um, really open up and express that open, honest communication, have that heart to heart, because it kind of feels like, you know, if we don't, it's never going to change. You know, it's like, if I don't open up, this person's not going to know my true feelings and then they are going to move on. So again, that's why I feel like Sagittarius, this person has definitely made some changes and that's why it's important now for them to come back to express that to you. So, all right. Well, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. So thank you all so very much to all of my new subscribers, as well as all of my longtime subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so very much. I hope you have a great rest of your week and as always take care.